Hello, my name is Nurefshan Günere and I graduated from Frontier STEM High School in 2018. I'm currently at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, majoring in chemistry, minoring in psychology and entrepreneurship. My end goal after I graduate this December is to get into dental school uh, he, either here in uh, Missouri or in a couple other states that I'm thinking about. Um, I want to join or start a organization like uh, Doctors Without Borders, except it's going to be Dentists Without Borders. So a bunch of uh, oral maxillofacial uh, surgeons, um, general dentists, family dentists, orthodontics, endodontists, uh, just uniting in one ship, just kind of traveling around the world uh, to places in need. So that's kind of the end goal there. So I have four more years after I finish my degree at UMKC. Uh, currently, I'm working at Frontier uh, School of Excellence as an alumni. So I'm working on giving back to my community through helping students in uh, math counts. Well, I actually started working at uh, Frontier um, in the middle school right by STEM. And initially, I, I had started helping students out in math counts, um, science olympiads, uh, Alex, and just kind of helping them supplement uh, their learning in, in the classroom or kind of giving them the final push that they need to um, you know get to where they need to be um, in STEM areas mostly so for example math uh, science um, like I said some other competitions clubs and me and my students actually did really well in a couple of our math and uh, science olympiads so it was around, I think, fourth or fifth graders. Right now, I currently work at Frontier School of Excellence and I work with middle school and high school in English language arts. So just kind of preparing them for um, more like rigorous reading passages and um, supporting text, supporting details, main ideas, themes and things like that. And, and just uh, basically all about figurative language. Um, and this is for, like I said, uh, middle school and high school. And then in the after school portion, I help students in math tutoring. Besides that, I'm also working as a dental assistant at Comfort Dental Midtown. I actually just had to um, pause for a bit because I don't have a means of trans. I didn't have a means of transportation. Now I do. Um, so I've been working there for, I think, two years now. Um, since I want to become a dentist, I thought that it would be amazing to be able to shadow a dentist, um, be a dental assistant to earn a living and, you know, support myself in my tuition. Um, and then just kind of do everything I need to get all the insight I can. And there's two amazing dentists in there that I really aspire to be like they've really been helping me out in that case. So I'm, like I said, I'm working as a dental assistant and a teacher's assistant currently, along with uh, a res residential life assistant at the Johnson Halls at UMKC. So I'm second floor RA. So I help out with students' needs. Um, we do one-on-ones eventually, like in the semester, in the middle part of a semester, do checkups on them, how they're feeling mentally, physically. Um, how they're feeling academically and how they're doing in their classes or if they need additional support from us to succeed and feel more comfortable or feel at home um, in the dorm rooms. I think as a leader personality, um, a person who has that leader personality, I think it also nurtures me in becoming the better me. Um, and definitely Frontier has paved a way into um, allowing me and supporting me to become the person I am today. And the way they did that was, honestly, I took so many PLTW courses, AP courses, um, honors courses, and just like took a bunch of dual credit courses, like I said, 
and those have really um, helped me show like universities helped me show um, companies and places that I want to work at that I'm a person that's hardworking and my school has provided me with these resources and I took them all and I used them all so um, I would I used to take um, project lead the way courses in biomedical sciences as well as engineering um, and then I took AP I think I took AP biology um, medical terminology and then AP calculus and some other AP courses that I can't really think about right now or can't really remember but those have definitely um, reflected my hard working um, and my basically like skillful attitude towards whatever I'm trying to achieve. Well, um, like I said earlier, I talk a lot about my PLTW classes, but I took one in biomedical sciences. And in there we had a fictional character named Anna. And Anna was a mannequin on the floor with fake blood and a um, bunch of pills and things like that with police tape surrounding it in the middle of our classroom. And I remember thinking like, what is the teacher thinking? But basically we ended up Re, like I'm trying to understand the cause of her death throughout the whole semester um, what might she have died of and we through this we explored all these different careers so people who did autopsy people the FBI who came to investigate uh, we looked into phlebotomy looking um, at blood levels and things like that basically all types of medical and other types of careers um, and through this, we also saw that she died of diabetes. We checked her blood glucose levels. We had a bunch of different samples. Uh, we got to utilize uh, microscopes and uh, blood stains and things like that. It was, it was honestly so fun to do. And finally coming to the conclusion that she had diabetes was really fun. And every year, her, her reason of death changes for each student, really. Um, each set of students, I guess. And like I said, I utilize the CAD um, application, which to this day still helps me. And I really, really liked that engineering class. Um, if I didn't go into dentistry, I'd definitely become a biomedical engineer because honestly, like I said, it has a lot of aesthetics, art, um, helping people. Um, so basically that's kind of where I figured out like this is who I want to be through all of these useful classes. Shout outs that need to be given <laughs> belong to my counselors who are Mr. Murat and um, Mr. Ermic. They definitely um, helped get through a little depressive episode of my life because as seniors, you know, it's honestly sometimes so challenging to be able to uh, apply to colleges, turn in essays, and just wait to hear back from them, um, look for recommendation letters, everything just kind of is thrown at you and you're trying to figure out how to pay for college. And at that time, um, definitely my counselors were just so um, approachable, they were so welcoming, they were so positive. Um, I do remember Mr. Murat would always um, Honestly, Mr. Ermic and Mr. Murrow would always be like, yeah, apply to wherever you think you want to get into. Don't worry about your grades sometimes. Like, just still reach for the highest. And if you can't get in, it's fine. But at least you can, you know that like you've tried to get into those places. And um, honestly, I got into most of like 95% of where I wanted to go um, just because of in-state fees and out-of-state fees differences and things like that and scholarships. I chose to go to UMKC. But other than that, honestly, it was a very successful and smooth transition from high school to uh, university. So I thank Mr. Murat and Mr. Ermic for that. Besides them, I want to give a shout out to Ms. Jones. She's my favorite, favorite all-time English teacher. She would give us snacks all the time. She would tolerate us and times. Some of my classmates were extremely highly rude and didn't want to do a lot of, you know, um, classwork and homework. And she really nurtured us in not only English, but also in how to become a 
good human being. Um, she had amazing character. We read a lot of books like Hamlet. Um, God, there was just so many of them and we then watched movies about it and I learned that I have a passion for writing and pouring out my emotions through writing and I got really really high scores in my writing section and my English section on my ACT. I believe I got a 33 on the English section um, and on the writing section, I got a 10 out of a 12. So I was highly impressed, but definitely thanks to Miss Jones and along with my hard work, everything just kind of paid off in there. Um, at the end of the summer or the year, she gave us pens that said to thine own self be true. So put yourself first and value yourself before you do anything else. So I really appreciate Miss Jones for that. And then of course, Miss Heath, my art teacher, um, who had the same level of humor as me and honestly just made me so happy it was just like the art room was my room to de-stress and joke around with miss heath um sometimes her jokes would be brutal and savage but that's fine uh that's honestly what kept me going sometimes you know so i had those couple favorite teachers in high school that i really deeply appreciate <laughs> I would say as long as you have passion for something or you're happy about it just keep pushing forward with it enroll in as many like dual credit courses ap courses and pltw courses as much as you can utilize um definitely um rely on your counselors but do on your do your own research as well sometimes like colleges universities um like high schools they have like different requirements for graduation, different credits, um, different names for courses. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Also look out for deadlines if you're like a high schooler. Um, there's a lot of scholarships out there. I used to apply to a bunch of scholarships and never get them, but once you get enrolled to a university, they're going to give you really great scholarships um, depending on your success. Um, and your GPA. So also utilize FAFSA, I would say. FAFSA is one of the biggest, um, I guess, sources that I utilize, resources that I utilize, along with my scholarships that I'm basically graduating this semester without any debt. Um, thanks to my hard work as a part-time student, part-time worker, and like multiple jobs, um, and then also my scholarships. So just definitely work on yourself and your success and surround yourself with people who empo empower you and people who support your dreams. Um, and not so many people, I guess, that, you know, just don't want to be around people who um, don't want to work as hard as you or don't want to get into the same area as you. So just surround yourself with people that you think are going to support you and kind of push you out of your comfort zone to do better. Um, definitely work hard, be curious, ask questions. Um, even in college, there's just so many people who are afraid to ask questions. Um, and you definitely see that when you do get to college, utilize all of the SI sessions. So, um, and then go talk to your TAs. Just like never feel alone because you always have that um, background to rely on and frontier to really um, come back to and ask for help and I have a lot of high school friends who are also working at frontier and so far they're really happy with uh, working with other students and just kind of knowing that you know we used to be in you guys' uh, shoes once upon a time and now look where we are we're almost graduating from school now Although definitely school kind of never really ends for me because I love going to school, which is kind of probably an odd thing to say, but definitely I would say my journey has been an interesting one. It's, it's gonna keep going though. I know that it's gonna keep going eventually. I want to get to where I wanna be. So like I said, just kind of utilize every resource that your advisors are giving you um surround yourself with the people that you like with the people that support you 
um, take every class really seriously, study on your own time, study ahead of time, uh, especially for courses like AP, PLTW, um, take them really seriously and know that your GPA really, really matters, especially also your, your ACTs also really, really, really highly matter. Um, so have a lot of emphasis on those when you're studying. So you might be doing your homework, just dedicate like 30 minutes to do one section of ACT or half a section of ACT every single day, have goals to achieve or habits to make. So I think that's basically my uh, take on Frontier and how it prepared me for my life right now. And it made me more of an optimistic and hardworking student, um, thanks to a lot of role models and the resources that were provided for me. And I hope the best for all the students there right now. And I hope you do great in your future uh, careers and your future goals.